Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have managed to be able to run Windows 11 on older unsupported hardware, and I'm talking mainly yeah, between 10, a decade to 10 to 15 years ago, then this may be all set to change. And currently it is possible to run Windows 11. It's not obviously recommended, but it is possible to run Windows 11 on hardware that spans back 10 to 15 years, although obviously you don't get a very good performance. But this may be all set to change. And with the Windows 11 version 24H2 feature update that's going to be rolling out uh, in the latter half of this year, which Microsoft has already confirmed, it seems that 24H2 will no longer boot on CPUs without the population count instruction. And that's known as POP CNT for short. So if you have an older, older PC and you have currently managed to be able to run Windows unsupported, then as mentioned, that could be set to change. Now, just a bit of a breakdown and background story on this population count. What it is all about, in case you're unaware, it basically counts the number of set bits in a machine word. And that means that, as an example, the POP CNT instruction helps count the number of ones in a binary representation. So if that POP CNT instruction is not found in an old CPU, um, according to um, reports doing the rounds um, quite significantly online at the moment, uh, you will not be able to run Windows 11 unsupported if you upgrade to Windows 11 version 24H2. And this population count um, became standard on CPUs in the mid-2000s with AMD's Barcelona architecture and then Intel followed on with their first gen Core R series CPUs, as many of you may well know. But just wanted to put it out there because obviously I do see a lot of comments on the channel and a lot of you I know do run Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. And I'm sure though that um, possibly we are going to be able to get a workaround. Somebody always finds some hack somewhere to get around these limitations that Microsoft does put in place. But um, starting with version 24H2, um, if you don't have the population count instruction, POP CNT, um, it seems that the OS will simply no longer boot on those older CPUs that range anywhere between 10 to 15 years ago. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.